What's up everybody, my name is Mustafa and you're watching Renovation School. In this episode, I want to show you how to locate the exact location of your plumbing under the concrete slab. It's a fairly easy job. Uh, there's many different ways of doing this. Uh, for the most part, people go to the Home Depot, rent a camera, inspection camera, they bring it over and they use it. As a renovation contractor, I highly recommend you to call a professional to do this because their ears are uh, pretty much used to the sound that the device makes. If you just go on Google and look for someone that does electrical eel in your area or look for someone that does uh, sewage uh, drainage or cleaning, uh, basically sewage cleaning uh, stuff, uh, you can find someone in your area that is capable of doing this service for you. Normally the cost is around $100 to 200 bucks depending on your state. So it's not such a big deal. This house is a bungalow. Above me here, we have a bathroom. All the plumbing that you see here is from that bathroom that comes to that main stack. We have a kitchen on the left side here, and that's the drainage for that uh, kitchen uh, sink. This is the main stack. In this basement, we only have one. Depending on the style of your house, if you have a two-story house or a bigger bungalow that has like uh, multiple amount of bathrooms and uh, let's say laundry and stuff on different parts of the house, you might have multiple one of these main stacks in your basement. So in my case, there's only one, and mostly on the very bottom part of it, there's a clean out here. There's a part that you can open up and access to the inside part of this pipe. That's designed in case there's any cloggage in this pipe, you can run a snake through this and open it up. So Jesse's gonna be here with me in a few seconds. He's a professional plumber. He does this pretty much on everyday basis. And uh, uh, also before we get there, if there's people living upstairs, Make sure to tell them not to use the water upstairs or don't flush the toilet. If they flush the toilet, all the dirty water will be coming out of that uh, clean out, basically. Make sure nobody uses anything before we call Jesse to come and show us how this job is done. You want to say hi? Hello, how you doing today? <laughs> I am a professional plumber, and we're going to run a camera through the line here and find out where these pipes are going. So uh, all I'm going to do is open up this back here. I'm going to take the camera and film him while he's doing this so you have a better idea of how it's done. Camera's all set up. I'm going to pull out the head here and then run the camera through the pipe. Notice how there's a little bracket here for the camera to go through. It makes it easier for it to move around. Check the top of the camera, make sure that there it's cleaned off so that you get a picture of what's going on to the line. And there you go. So that's a camera that is running right through that pipe. Now you turn it right down the pipe. And if you want to bring it over here, right here, you can see on the inside of the pipe what's going on inside. Of it. Okay. He is feeding this through the clean out here. That's the camera that and now we are in the ground. So first thing I'm going to push it down about three feet. Then I'm going to stop. I'm going to come over to my camera. And I'm going to put push the locate button here. Just so we can find out where it's going currently at this point in time. What is this device exactly? This is the locator for the camera. So it goes by pitch, volume, and number. So currently, the camera is right here. I press this down button here, and it tells me how far it's down. So it's down a foot and one inch. So currently the camera's right here. Now we're gonna run it a little bit further and see if she turns or bends out. Again, just take a little look at the line, make sure everything's clear also. Okay, let's stop right there. Let's find out where she's at now. Camera is right here. 
Press the button down again. It's one foot four inches underneath the ground here. So now we know that our camera is, our line is running in this direction right here, all the way across. Let's push it down a little bit further and find out where it's at on the other side. If you take a look at the camera at the, the video here, you can see where the floor drain is connecting in with the line. So that's where, that's right there in the corner there. So now she turns a little bit. Now we're gonna trace her again. So we're gonna go in the room behind here so we can trace that line because it's going all the way here and it's gonna be inside that room. Right now, the camera is currently right here. So she's turning and she's going straight out of the wall this way. And that's the street here, right? The and that's right towards here. the street, yeah. So the main sewer in most places across the city, the main sewer is in the front of the house in, in the street, most likely the middle of the street. Now, in some older areas like the Walkerville area and uh, I would say college area, Randolph, now, their sewers are placed in the back alley of their homes. So some places you're going to find it that's going to be out towards the front of your, of your house and in the middle of the street. Other places you're going to find it out in the back alley in the back of your yard. So, and this is actually something that is normal and is not subject to any kind of thought process. It does happen. Sometimes it goes towards the back. Most times it goes towards the front. That's the main reason why we called you today to figure out where exactly it's going. And also sometimes in the houses that it's located on a corner lot or something, the lines could be coming off of the other street. So just keep in mind. Also, yes, this is very, with a lot of older homes, the way that they did their plumbing is that they would put it out towards the side of the house and run it down the side of the, of the lot of the house. This happens at a lot of older homes too. I mean, the newer homes, definitely this is not going to be a situation that's going to happen in a newer home. But an older home, definitely this can happen. All right. Perfect. And can you please tell me the depth here also? I want to know how oh, far yeah. deep uh, Not a problem. Is, so we know how much you did. I believe it was two feet when I read it. Yes, two feet, two inches. Two feet. Perfect. Thank you very much. Not a problem. And basically what you want to do with this is that you want to hand tighten it, right? Once you get to your point, grab a pair of channel locks and just give it a nice quick half turn. And that's it. That's all you want to put. You don't want to put it on too tight because you'll end up breaking the threads inside of here and you have to replace the whole pipe. So Jesse just left the house. He left some marks on the ground. He wrote down how far deep the pipes are exactly. So I know exactly where each pipe is located right now in this house, in, under the concrete slab. Uh, sometimes in newer houses, it's a lot easier to locate the actual pipes under the concrete. Uh, a lot of times there's a clean out at the very end of the house, basically before it actually goes out of the basement and goes to the street and connects to the main sewer line to the city line, basically. There is a clean out on somewhere closer to your exterior walls in your basement. So from there, you kind of can imagine where about the, the plumbing could be. In this case, we had nothing here. Uh, and I'm glad I called them. My life is a lot easier now. I thought this plumbing is going to be facing this way. At the very end of this basement, from where I thought the plumbing would be to where he left the mark, it's about 10 feet off. Basically, imagine if I was digging that area. There's no way I could find plumbing. It would be a huge mess. 
it would be a waste of time and energy to cut the floor there. So this saved me a lot of times. I hope this video was helpful to you guys. Now, if you're interested in learning how to do the rough and plumbing for a bathroom and a kitchen in a basement, please make sure to watch the, my next video. I'm planning on finishing this whole basement. I'm gonna be making it into series. Uh, so you, you have a better idea of how it's done. I'm gonna show you the framing, the installation. Uh, I might show you the electrical also, but as far as what I know right now, there is an electrical contractor that is gonna be coming over and take care of the job. Uh, the plumbing, I'm gonna take care of all the rough end. You're gonna see that also in the next video. So if you're new to the channel, please make sure to subscribe. Uh, your likes and comments are gonna be the biggest help for this channel. Thank you very much for giving me your time. Till next time, peace.